New reporting from the Washington Post is shining a light on high-level business dealings between Chinese executives and the younger Biden. It's really just in the last month or so that the mainstream or the left-leaning media have begun to, to say, yeah, well, you know, what was on the laptop, a lot of it really seems to be true. Not only did mainstream media not pick it up, but also, you, you had bans from Twitter. You had bans. I don't know about YouTube. Yeah. I don't know. But there were social media bans on this being misinformation. The story is a bit, you know, hard to believe. But that doesn't mean that the mainstream media, A, shouldn't have done more to try to see is this true or not, and B, the level of censorship that it got. Hunter Biden has made some serious mistakes mm -hmm. trying to use his father's position to make money in a way that was wildly irresponsible. It's what the media did do and what the media didn't do. Most importantly, what the media did and didn't do during the end of that election cycle. New York Post comes out with it. They're the mm -hmm. only one that comes out with it. And then it is banned on social yeah. media. That's I mean, bad. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's horrific. Be, 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 yeah. That's bad. Because again, it, it is, I think we have to, you know, you have to say it. It's a real, it's a real story. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm.